up, y'all? It's Poppin' with Crackin' It's Steve, boss here, this album, and preach of it is titled Bad News for Young Philly. His lawyer and terminally ill kids speak out. Oh, what? Does the kid have to do anything? Is he a pedo, too? Let, let's see what's happening. Let's watch. So that video was made while Philly was filming, I think, the Philly and Junk show. Mason! I oh, know, innit? This is probably a little surprise for you. We still love Philly, but really disappointed. Kelly said it left Mason distraught and questioning why Barrientos would make empty promises. I feel like Philly just jumped on a bandwagon and then literally broke my son's heart. Um, quick little update. So, uh, young Philly. So I looked into it. I've been keeping track. Aside from the story about the kid, here's the other part that's really crazy. So his trial date for first, just to even like go through with the indictment, is happening in December. Okay. So you know how long it's going to take for him to go through the indictment and the trial? Two years. Oh, so he's stuck there. He's going to be stuck. So when I said his life is pretty much over as far as his career and everything like that, he's going to be stuck there for the next two years. Which, in a way, is kind of fucking crazy if you think about it. Because depending on how accurate or true this thing is, they're essentially taking away two years of his life. Like, well, let's happen that be none of it is true. Yeah, okay, or it's being greatly exaggerated. He's losing two years of his career, and even when he is out and he does prove it to be not guilty, people don't. He's want lost all of his work. His yeah. name is forever stained. He's been surrounded. But if you consider the details, I reacted to that video. Like it's like innocent. How? Where? You know. By all this they literally said they have video proof. Like, what are we talking about? Negative press, so all of his mainstream work is dead. Even when he comes back to YouTube, is there any guarantee that anyone's going to follow this trial in Australia? So even that shit, it's a fucked up thing to think about. But despite him not being found guilty, there's a high possibility that he may never come back to the online world. Mm -hmm. And that's if he's found not guilty, which is the best case scenario. Yeah. So this is the details of the night in question, okay? Yeah. Um, the 20-year-old university student attended the VIP at Bar One Nightclub on the K at Sorrento Beach in Northern Perth. This is the victim in question. Western Australia, according to court documents, they revealed that the young woman who was with a friend who had 12 drinks, including shots of tequila, was more intoxicated than she was. Following the party, a young woman is believed to have accompanied the young Philly to a hotel room where the alleged took place. Detectives allege he he heard a woman in her 20s in a hotel room in the early hours of the next day. Perth Magistrate Court documents reveal that the young woman rang her friend immediately afterwards at 5.31 a.m. He said prosecutors had photographs which no ordinary person could consent in those circumstances. Those mm -hmm. photos are indicative of a number of protracted and what we say is effectively stitched across. Well, across her body is a history of what we say is violent acts. Mm -hmm. We say those photos and what is alleged They got to, photos and, and video. Is effectively beyond the pale, beyond the norm of what could be considered or entertained to be a consensual act. Mm -hmm. Now, when I hear words like that, that tells me that she's got like black and blue bruises all over her body. That's no, the way they're talking. That's what they make it sound like. That could be not true, but just based off the words, if I, I come to find out she just got a bruise on her neck and just, I'm not going to say much. But if there's actually bruises in other places and they're black and blue, that's going to look very different. They, they're talking like she fought back. Yeah. Now, in his defense, I'm gonna so I'm gonna try to be fair. Mr. Rafferty, which is Young Philly's lawyer, told the court that while he was not saying the police had a weak case against his client, that when the alleged victim rang her friend immediately after these things are said to have occurred, no complaint of a sexual nature during the course of that telephone conversation was made. None. Something was referred to later on in the day. He also said issues of intoxication would be significant at Young Philly's trial. In the young woman's statement, she says, during the night I had a few drinks and I still was aware of my surroundings, Mr. Rafferty said. He then referred to the statement of the woman's friend who had consumed 12 drinks, including tequila, but reckoned the young woman was drunker than her. I think when you start talking about how much alcohol she had and all this stuff, this might try to give you some plausible deniability, but in this day and age, that's not gonna be an out. It's not gonna be an out. No. But a lawyer is definitely gonna try to discredit that person's yeah, uh, that ability stop. to, to, to to whatever, to remember the, the, the what happened, to, uh, she, he's gonna try to fuck up her speech. He's gonna try to fuck up her memory about what happened and he's gonna try to um, invalidate whatever she's saying. Yeah, I mean, that's his job, so I'm, I'm, that's his job as a defense lawyer. Mm -hmm. Young Philly promised to support my terminally ill son in a poignant video, then the rapper told him to shut up and ghosted him. So. 
The YouTuber told Mason Greaves 12 he was there to support him and challenge him to a game of Fortnite in a video. So here are the receipts, so nobody thinks anything's being made up. Mason! I know, innit? This is probably a little surprise for you, but I just wanted to say I hope you're well. Um, also, thank you for watching my videos. I wish you a speedy recovery, my guy. Um, tough times never last. God willing, you're going to be okay sooner rather than later. Um, yeah, and I just wanted to give you my support and tell you that I love you and I'm here for you. And um, yeah, Same. I hope all is well, my guy. Um, yeah, unfortunate what, what, what's happening with you, but like I say, my brother, try to stay positive the best you can. And um, when you're up for it, let me know and I'll whoop your ass at Fortnite. So that was the video and this is Mason's reaction. But I will continue the story while this is playing. So, how good was that? Mason was made up. That happens. Basically, the kid's turned the hill, so she's trying to find a kidney for him. So, um, uh, I'm pretty sure she's been posting about this. She's been trying to get treatment for the child for quite some time. And then she talked about how Philly treated her kid. A representative from JD Sports then got in touch with Kelly, the mother, and asked to send out some clothes for the youngster. Weeks later, they revealed they had organized a surprise Fortnite loving Mason and asked Kelly to film his reaction. To Mason's delight, young Philly, real name Andreas Felipe Valencia Barrientos. I know this motherfucker uses that to get women had recorded a special message you how do you, you know exactly what i meant yeah yeah, yeah. young philly or andres felipe <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. but things took a turn when mason who has followed the influencer for years tried to reach out to him kelly said when mason attempted to respond to barrientos on social media he was clear, cruelly ignored or shut down by one of his people she added it came up to one day that philly was live on tiktok and mason then said hello to him via the chat but he was ignored and people told him to shut up through Titch. Mason went and got a Twitch account and he started trying to talk to Philly and said, hi, it's Mason, you sent me this video. Um, then he got abuse from his moderators. What a little Philly. Um, then a couple days later, Philly was back on Twitch playing games with people. So Mason went again and said something like, hi, it's Mason, do you remember my kidney appeal? And young Philly just said um. right in the middle of the live stream, Mason, sh just shut up. And I was, with Mason, I just thought, how dare you? Sure Kelly could. said it left Mason distraught and questioning why Barry and Toast would make empty promises. I feel like Philly just jumped on a bandwagon and then literally broke my son's heart. I don't think this has anything to do with that. This person. It does not, it's but not I guess really they're trying to paint. But I think character. this does goes to speak to the credibility of the people who are saying, like, he's just a really bad person behind the scenes. To me, personally, if you're going to film anything and send it to an eternally ill child making any promises, bitch, you better follow through. Yeah, not because right. the PR nightmare, but it's just like, how low do you have to be mm -hmm. to take time out of your day to film this video, make promises to somebody who doesn't have much time, and then ignore them like they got all the time in the world? I don't understand that, especially a child. Like, you go there, you light up their day, you're going to tell them the about show? all the wonderful things, and then you just disappear. I, I, yeah, I don't know, man. It's just fascinating to me because I've heard stories like this from other content creators where there's a terminally ill child, they promise this, they promise that, and they don't follow through. And it's not like what they're being asked to follow through on is difficult. It's not like they're being told, hey, I'll take you on a trip, you know, for four or five days, or whatever. It's just from the luxury of your home, play a game of Fortnite. That's like 40 minutes of your day, at most. You know, it's like, oh, go there and sign a basketball in your city. Like, just go and fucking do it if you promised it. Or just don't make a promise at all. I just can't understand. But they want to make but the promise. It speaks to publicly. the fact that for some people, so as they get bigger, they just be yapping and making all kinds of promises, but they don't actually really care about the people. They lose the interest. They send all these messages that sound good and they have beautiful words, but when you really peer behind the curtain, they just have very foul intentions or very self centered. And you don't really have to peer behind the curtain, you just hear it. Yeah. But for the fan base, they didn't know about a lot of this stuff. Yeah. Right? They didn't know because they don't know how he is when you see him in person. There's a lot of people in the comics, actors, whatever. We know things, yeah. and then the public don't. Yeah, yeah, it goes to speak also to the kind of relationships you foster. You remember what I said? When you have a problem, all the people you sh fucking fucked over on the way up. Oh yeah, they gonna they gonna remember. Mm, they gonna remember. Okay. Yup. Yeah. Now some people are gonna use this and try to say, oh, see, he must be guilty of that stuff. It's not that. It just goes to show though that you don't know these people. So no matter how Thanks. much you thought this person was a good person, or they would never oh, I'm shocked you. But the reality was you didn't even know he was a horrible person, period. Who knows if he does that stuff and did those people? I don't know. You don't know either. But this whole public perception that a lot of people had of him just being a fun loving, very sweetheart person was like know. you don't know. Yeah. You don't know. It doesn't matter. All the time, y'all don't know these people. These people. Hmm. You don't know them. Don't. You think you know them. 
But you have no you idea. Don't. You don't. You know the facade that they are showing you on camera. Y'all don't even know me. Y'all think y'all know me. What the fuck happened? This ain't my shit. This they shit. But he's going to have to that grow that shit from the ground up. He's going to have to... The PR that he's going to have to do in order to regain a bit of what he had, the work is astonishing. Like, it's, it's for him worried. to work back and to make all these... First, he has to make all these interviews about how he was and what happened. And if that's if That's it. Wait. That's if he is probably not guilty. <laughs> the... And then after that, he has to show other people that he's changed, which is going to be humongous because everybody, everybody's saying the same thing, saying that he, how bad he is, how, so, so he, they, we're going to have to show, you're going to have to show that it, 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 he's not the same person, which is impossible to, it's, that's quite, it's, it's impossible yeah. to do. Yeah. It's impossible to do because right now he's, 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 he's uh, shown as a narcissistic person. And those people are known to, to manipulate. And what does it tell me that you're not even doing that right now? That you're not playing the puppet master of your image. So, yeah, it's going to be super tough. Yeah. Al almost impossible for him to do that. I mean, listen, when you're coming back from any kind of scandal, the most important thing you can have on your side is relationships. And he, unfortunately, doesn't seem to have them, right? No one's coming to his defense. No one's saying anything in his favor. No one's speaking for his character. Not a single person. So when you see that, it's like, how do you come back from that? If on the way trying to get back up, everybody that you shed on the way down does not want to help you. They don't sorry, want to I'm in fact, they want to avoid you at all costs. I said like you need hours. those people. You're not going to have access to them. So that's going to be the, the thing that he has to overcome that I don't think he'll be able to. Remember that? And look at Johnny Depp. Yeah, that's Johnny exactly Depp, where I was going. Not found not guilty, okay? He still hasn't really come back. Everyone is saying he's going to do the next Pirates of the Caribbean, all this stuff. He Sorry. still hasn't. The momentum is not there. Now, to be fair, in his defense, maybe he doesn't want to come back. Maybe the trauma that he's been inflicted, mm -hmm. he's made enough money, he doesn't need to come back. Yeah, if he don't want to was people that was one sponsor chill. that was behind him, and that was Dior, Sauvage, the perfume. Yeah. You know, it's not necessarily the same thing as, as Young Philly. Whereas when he was coming down, there was people that he did not shout on. That was like, like uh, a lot no, of people he, stood up for Johnny. He said, never. Exactly. Yeah. So that, that's where you have your difference there. Yeah. Where there's a lot of people that, that are rooting for you. Uh, versus him, everybody's saying every, nobody wants to touch that with the football. No. So, I wanted to read some couple of details that apparently were in the um, news article I read. That I think are at least worth looking at. Um, so let's take a look here. Are you uh, are you mean to people behind the scenes? Uh, if anybody did to me, <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna deny it. Not fair. I'm not gonna deny it. I've, 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 yeah, I fucked up a few people yeah. here and there, but they did something to me. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. I mean, Jimmy, I mean, I feel that with my with my soul. I oh, know there's been a couple times I was like, eh, I wasn't the best <laughs> person to this person in that particular instance, you know, but years, years ago. But um, for the most part, if I've done something, it's because they played me. And again, still years and years ago, because I find myself now not wanting to retaliate against people. Like, I don't have the energy. I don't want that bad karma and I'm just going to let it life handle you because everybody who has fucked me over, they're not doing very well. You know, people who have done me wrong, people who have, you know, uh, really, really done some fucked up shady shit to me, they are not doing well. When I've been nosy and checked on them, they, they ain't doing so hot. They ain't doing so well. And I'm like, hmm, I didn't even I didn't have to do nothing. I kept my hands clean, and the universe got dirty. The universe got his hands dirty and took care of you. I didn't have to do nothing. Fans or stuff like that. Everything's going towards yourself. Fans take picture. Cool, cool, cool. And I'm like, I'll chat with people sometimes. Sometimes I'm in a hurry. You know, generally I'm pretty good with people. As far as like being mean to people, I, I'm quiet in person. In person, I don't really talk much. I just be like, no, I'm <laughs> I gotta be self aware. <laughs> I am not quiet. I have my quiet moments, okay? I, I'm an extroverted introvert. <laughs> So, you know, I am I have very social moments where I'm very chatty, I'm very social, talkative, extroverted, outgoing, da-da-da. But once that battery runs out and I'm over it, I, I'm just like, you know, so. When I'm out and about, even I when I go out dancing, I don't really take up space. I find a corner, I just dance over there. Like, that's how I like to be. And so sometimes people see that and they're like, oh, I was being snotty or whatever. It's like a bougie. bougie you know? I mean, I, I was a bougie one. I'm, I, I have, like... Some levels of like high level bougie which is like I just stay in the corner and chill, but I'm never like, oh, I'm in the ugly corner. Yeah. 
You know, I didn't choose like the nice spot in the club to be a bougie person. I'm in the ugly corner near the bathroom. I can attest. You know, I can smell people fart. Oh. You know what I mean? Oh, it's hard to be bougie over there. So I balance it out. And because they're homeless. Yeah. I'm accessible. But it's smelly. <laughs> My attitude. But no, I'm definitely very cool. People come up to me like, what's up, whatever it is. And I also just don't make promises I'm not going to keep. I don't promise to go help out a charity that I don't want to follow through and do it properly. I do have some organizations I help with, but those are ones I've actually properly invested in and I'm going to follow through on. So this is one of the ones where I'm not too scared of like, oh, I have a behind the scenes because how I am in front of the camera is how I am behind. Not that I necessarily talk as much, but if you get me in a specific conversation, I'll talk just like this. But people who go on camera and have these front-facing personalities that are completely different than how they are behind closed doors, those are the ones who have some fear and loops. Like, what's the worst thing that person, what's the worst thing they going to say about that, um, that you preach looks unfriendly, but you look unfriendly on camera. <laughs> no, that's fucked. No, but what he's saying is so true. Like some people are very different, you know, in their real lives than they are on, you know, their social media accounts. But I feel like if you pay close attention, you could peep the the mask slips. You know, you can you can peep that they being fake. I appreciate that. You know, people who have watched my vlogs on my second channel, D Chanel TV, go watch link down below. Um, People have said, like, oh, you, you seem, like, the exact same as you are, like, in your reactions. So, I feel like my personality is very straightforward. But when I say y'all don't know me, I mean, like, y'all don't know how I am in, in real life with other people and how, like, what my morals are and how I interact with others, things like that. Well, I mean, some of that is shown on my blog. So, y'all over there, maybe y'all know me a little better. <laughs> I'll have my second child. Anyway. <laughs> what else? Yeah, I do. Um, everything they say about, like, everything that people say about you is, like, stuff they say about you online. What do you mean? Like, oh, this nigga, you know, the people been saying that to you. So, when I'm, like, sassy? Yes. I don't know what they're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> he said that's so <laughs> That's <laughs> funny. <laughs> You know, the people been saying that to you. So whether I'm like sassy? Yes. I don't know what they're talking about. What would they say? What 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 they say? has zero commentary channels. There's literally not a single YouTuber in the UK that I know that's like relatively big that talks about. And I actually noticed about most issues, even like the, what's it called? The shits and geeks situation. Mm -hmm. Nobody over there really talks about that. Well, Mike, they don't want to get involved. I, I think that UK doesn't really have commentary and stuff like that. Most of their creators just do either comedy related stuff or football, football. gaming things, right? None of it is ever political. None of it's like comment, no. For some reason, I haven't seen a single UK person really talk about this shit. I In have. fact, I have seen UK people contacting me saying like, oh, I'm glad somebody talked about this shit. Yeah, where, where are the UK people? Okay. Where are the UK going to I don't know about that. I said what I said with a bag of chips. Listen, just because I know one guy who goes, hey, blood. You know? <laughs> no, we are the ones. We are the ones you, We are the ones they like looking at. Just because we say, bro, we don't want to talk about it. We don't want to talk about it. Well, thank you very much for following our uh, UK's best commentary channel. You can always find <laughs> I'm telling you, it's nobody like in the UK is touching this. None of those people want to talk about this topic. Like, it's all sure. good. We got this. So you can always follow us on Twitch and not on Twitch. Y'all up in the camera, back up. <laughs> uh, but yeah, this does not look good for Philly at all. The fact that he gonna be there for two years minimum, whether he found guilty or not, is crazy. He gonna be stuck there in jail for two years. Either way it go, minimum. But I don't see how he can be found not guilty when they're saying they have CCTV footage that proves that he's guilty. They said they got pictures of bruises all over her body that, that shows that this was not a consensual thing. It's like, okay, two plus two is four, all right? If it looked like a duck, quack like a duck, he guilty. That's what it's looking like, all right? That's what it's looking like. Anything can happen, but that's just how it appears to be. And I know people want to see the good in him, so they want to be like, well, maybe he's not guilty. But the reality is you don't know this man. Just because he's smiling and he appears to be happy and friendly on camera, that does not mean anything. Listen, those are the main people you want to look out for. The people who are always happy, go lucky, and like, yeah, guys, and ah, ha, 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 jokes all the time, ah, super pop, ah. something ain't right, because that's not realistic. Think about it. That's not realistic. <laughs> Nobody is like that all the time. So you have to think about what are they working hard to try to disguise, to cover. You know, you, you want to trust people who are a little, a little shady, a little, you know, rude. 
<laughs> at times. You know, it's it's realistic. They can be kind of nice, but you feel me? Nobody is nice 24-7 and always positive. Even when I'm watching, like, vlogs and stuff and people, when they too fake positive all the time, I'm clicking out. I'm not watching. I'm not subscribing. This is fake. This is not real. It's, people don't act like this in real life. Even the most positive, friendly people are not happy and positive 24-7. It just doesn't make any sense. It's suspicious. Anyway, that's just my take on it. But, yeah, we'll see what happens with him. Y'all let me know what y'all think. Let me know what other videos you're going to watch. And I'll see y'all next time. Bye.